Fantasy race television options. The Elves, exclusively 300 season long soap operas. Dwarf TV, how its mind fall by four and a half hours of documentary about salt. Gnome TV, those sensory videos for cats where bugs and mice and birds crawl around the screen. They really like this. Orc TV, Mythbusters and Top Gear reruns. Halfling TV, the most incredibly impassioned story you've ever witnessed, always neatly contained into a maximum of two seasons. Fairy TV, imagine impractical jokers except they're capable of stealing people's faces. This is the only show that fairies have. A human fighter joins the party. He's a soldier whose main weapon is a shield, and he even took Shield Master. He's 113 years old because he was trapped in ice. He really likes the idea of freedom. The Creation Bard raid is action to create an Iron Maiden behind the BBEG as soon as he's hit with the Warlock's repelling blast. The wizard casts Arcane Lock. The cleric puts his spiritual weapon in there with him. The druid casts Heat Metal. Mind blown. Romance the Emperor. Now all of Steam will know that you banged the squid. Player, okay, I'd like to make camp. Dungeon Master, okay. Player, and I want to scream at the moon. Dungeon Master, you scream at the moon. Player, the moon deserves it. Dungeon Master, okay, roll intimidation. Player, a four? Dungeon Master, the moon seems unfazed. Player, you win this round. I guess I'll go to sleep. The player wakes up in the domain of the moon goddess. <laughs> I heard you've been talking shit. Dungeon Dragon's character creation alignment chart. Lawful good, point by plus a free feat. Neutral good, standard array, plus a free feat. Chaotic good, 46 drop the lowest shared by the group. Lawful neutral, point by. True neutral, standard array. Chaotic neutral, 46 drop the lowest. Lawful evil, 3d6. Neutral evil, 46 drop the lowest in order. Chaotic evil, 6d20. Personally, I almost always go with chaotic neutral in my games. What about you? Dungeon Master, you have to make a wisdom saving throw against the fire elemental's attack. Player, really? A wisdom saving throw? Well, I got an 11. Dungeon Master, that's a fail. The fire elemental used vicious mockery against you. Take six psychic damage. Player, wait, the fire elemental used vicious mockery against me? What did it say? Dungeon Master, it says I would roast you, but I know I'm not supposed to burn trash. Player, okay, I I'm just dead. <laughs> Where are you in the hot dog alignment chart? Lawful good, only mustard. Neutral good, only ketchup. Chaotic good, only sausage. Lawful neutral, mustard, onions, and coleslaw. True neutral, ketchup and mustard. Chaotic neutral, ketchup, mustard, onions, and pickles. Lawful evil, mustard, onions, minced meat sauce. Neutral evil, only bread. Chaotic evil, spaghetti and salmon strips. Hey, shouldn't all the necromancers be buff? Why would they be buff? Because they do so much deadlifting. <laughs> Shitty character idea, an ASMR sorcerer who is technically a god, but of a single tiny little lake, which they are nowhere near. Ranger, all right, I attack the MILF. The face of the rogue, paladin, cleric, and dungeon master. I'm sorry, the what? Ranger, the monster I like to fight, the MILF. Okay, but can you imagine how frustrating being a wizard in Dungeon Dragons would be? Like you spend so long, maybe even years studying magic, reading books, and working hard to be well-versed in magic and end up really smart. But then you meet other spellcasters and they're just like, Cleric, I believe in God, so I'm magic. Warlock, I just had to ask Cthulhu for magic and they said yes. Sorcerers, I was just born with magic. Druids, I just chilled in the forest and I got magic. Bards, I just play a fiddle, lol. Wizard, takes months to memorize a gesture to incant that bends the fabric of reality. Bard, doot doot, magic flute. Quickest player death in Dungeons and Dragons ever. D&D story time. I was running the first session of a new campaign. Everyone starts at level one. We had an elf druid, a half elf ranger, a dragonborn sorcerer, and a tiefling rogue as the party goes through their introductions. Five foot two, 90 pound tiefling. I don't like being touched. Six foot three, 250 pound dragonborn. I uh, pat her on the head. Tiefling, I bite his hand. Okay, you bite his hand. Roll to hit. Uh, natural 20. Roll 1d4 damage. Rolls four doubles to eight. Dragonborn Sorcerer only has eight health. Okay, so you bite his hand off and he's now bleeding out. No one has any healing potions or magic, all level one characters. Dragonborn rolls a three on death saves and then a natural one next. Dragonborn is dead. Tiefling, I said I don't like being touched. The Warforged and Elves staring at each other while the rest of the party sleeps. Kids in D&D are always so creative. Conversation with a five-year-old Dungeon Master. Five-year-old Dungeon Master, it is a spider dragon. Me, what is that? Five-year-old Dungeon Master, a massive black dragon with 
eight legs and big pincers dripping poison. Me, that is terrifying. Five-year-old dungeon master, it has a breath weapon. It breathes millions of tiny spiders at you. This kid created nightmare fuel. 